Hey guys, Azap here and welcome to my Velkos guide. Some of you might have found me through mobile fire. If that's the case, welcome to my channel. As for the rest of you regular boys, I would very much appreciate if you go to mobile fire and upload my guide there. That way we can get more squids interested in the squid squad. I hope you guys will enjoy this guide as much as I enjoyed making it and hopefully you will improve your Velkos skills. If you guys don't know me, I'm an ex mid laner, shot caller and a coach. I have over 1 million mastery on Velkos and I have recently been pronounced as the best Velkos in Europe upon winning the tournament of power. Ok, that's it for introduction. Now let's get into Velkos. Velkos is a high range, high damage, unique control mage. He's not a mechanically demanding champion, but he does require you to have a lot of game knowledge. Most of Velkos plays are created in your head and in advance rather than reactionary to your opponent. It's all based on a particular game and what you have observed. You need to have devised, like we in IT call it protocols. Playing Velkos can be very similar to playing chess. It mostly relies on mind games and predicting what your opponent's options and most likely moves are. In my experience people usually tend to play Velkos in one of two styles. They either go for kill potential or wave control. If you're going for kill potential you will be maxing Q and it's probably better in lower elo. However, in high elo people are less likely to die to you. So more emphasis is put on the wave control and maxing W gives you more advantages in the long term. Over the years of playing Velkos I have kinda tested every single skill order and I have devised one that might be optimal in most cases. I like getting 3 points in W or Void Rift by level 5. That will give you just enough pushing power that will carry you through the early game when Velkos is kinda weak. Plus at that point you wouldn't be going for kill anyway. At best you would be forcing a summoner spell. After getting level 5 and 3 points in Void Rift you will proceed with maxing Q or Plasma Fission. That will increase its slow duration and burst potential. In this particular case you will be getting your Q maxed out at level 10 rather than at level 13 if you were to max W. In my mind this gives you the best of both worlds and kinda prepares you for every scenario. One key thing to remember when playing Velkos, you are a very vulnerable immobile mage. So in order to survive and do the most damage possible, you will have to be analyzing threats and counting who can jump to you. That means paying attention and counting every single dash, flush, jump, teleport and whatever. I'm going to show you one example here. Now it's, now it's a game of counting jumps, counting daggers, like to be precise. Now I have to be counting daggers and catch her mid, mid like rotation when she doesn't have shampoo. And then I... Okay, this might be a bit risky. She's gonna... Okay, never mind, we're good. She, she has one more, one more jump. One more jump and she dies. See, that's the counting game. I love I Karina, love Karina, Karina hey, matchup because I it's like so this smart. Guy. Like, both of us can win the matchup easily if we play smart. Many players think that in order to be a good Velkos player, you just have to spam your abilities and be decent at skill shots. But it goes way beyond that. In order to truly master Velkos, there are a couple of keys. First and most important, you need to have solid game knowledge. Secondly, you need to work on your positioning. And positioning directly ties in your game knowledge. And thirdly, you need to be decent at your skill shots. Which do directly tie into your positioning. Cause with good positioning, you can turn even the most difficult shots into easy checkmate scenarios. And in order to keep optimal positioning, you need to have a lot of game knowledge, so you know which angle to stand and what distance you should take from your opponents. In this next clip, I'm gonna show you how all these three keys tie together, in perfect order. First, we see Fizz pushing, and we see that he has a lot more minions than I do. So basic game knowledge tells us that he will have level 6 before me. Knowing that makes me position correctly and be ready to dodge his ult. After dodging that ult, it seems like we're on even ground. I'm level 5, he has no ulti. But I check my experience and I see that I'm very close to level 6. And there are plenty of minions on the opponent's side to get there. So we go for the classic level 6 power spike play. We drop one W on the wave just to get it so squishy enough that single Q will get me a level up. Positioning that aggressively makes Fizz go aggressive, which is a mistake as I'm almost level 6. And now we already have him. I have all the tools I need to deal with him. Now all that's left is to position correctly and land my skill shots. And I do exactly that. Ooh. This is one of many examples where you guys can see how everything ties together. Game knowledge into positioning into skill shots. 
Master those three in that specific order and you will be a beast. There is one very simple tip I can give you how to be better Velkas. All you have to do is try to die less. That works for every single champion. But it works for Velkos really well, because his playstyle resembles that of an AD carry. He is one of the rare mages where it's actually okay to be hitting the front line. Because of your built-in true damage, you will be shredding through anyone. So in teamfights all you have to do is analyze the threats. Who on your opponent team can kill you and how. Based on that knowledge, we decide our positioning. And when we get good positioning in a fight, all that's left is to land our skill shots. Okay, here are a couple of final thoughts. We all know Velko is a teamfighting monster, but due to his long range, if you are playing an optimal game, if you're playing perfectly, you will barely have any teamfights in that game. Or the ones you will have will be the ones where opponents are already at a huge disadvantage. Having 5v5 equal teamfights in solo queue is never good. So you should aim to play that poke pick playstyle that's really good at sieging turrets. And you should try to win most teamfights before they even begin, by either getting the opponent slow or getting a free pick. That's the best case scenario. Thank you boys so much for tuning in to my Velkos guide. If you still have any doubts about the patch specific things, be sure to check out my mobile fire guide which I will try to keep updated. There you can find things that are very changeable and less universal, like summoner spells, items and skill order. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you maybe learned something new. I appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the next one. See ya boys.